My recording is happening now. My recording is also happening in the now. <gasps> <laughs> I thought you were doing wow. a bit of like wow. you, you don't live when the podcast isn't going. Like you're <gasps> finally we're recording again. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, I exist. Relax. I breathe. I exhume. I've been dead for a week. I'm Robin Williams and Jumanji. <laughs> Oh, wow. Thanks for tuning in, uh, Patreon listeners. Uh, as you know, we only have the breath of life when you give it to us, so thank you for that. <laughs> Patreons, uh, you pay for us to breathe. You pay for us to breathe. Without you pay you. for us to breathe. We don't live unless you say we do. That's that's some, like... Uh, unless that's like, you like, pay we do. <laughs> that, that's what you'd see, like, graffitied on the wall in, like, a Fallout game or something, yeah. Yes. <laughs> we got to go into the fact that like the patrons uh, pay us and yeah. we each get some money from that that's correct. And jamie is also paying now medical bills that's correct for his his robot leg that's true so in, in one way they are paying for us to breathe <laughs> i don't know if i want to put that kind of pressure on our patrons of like hey Jeez. jamie are you are you some sort of an alive. insect that breathes through your legs is that what the joke here is is this like a grasshopper thing or a katie did situation i, I didn't think so until well, now he, well he I, said he said in relation to yeah, your leg issue they pay bills. for us to breathe so <laughs> or is this some sort of orwellian dystopia where no i think he just meant that like if i couldn't if i couldn't because we live in a capitalist nightmare if i couldn't afford to pay my hospital bills i would just die <laughs> gotcha yes yeah i'm going more that way <laughs> gotcha. also i just realized this episode will probably come out before the nighttime where we explain why you have a robot leg and i'm gonna leave it oh, like okay. that oh, so okay. ooh, suspense uh. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> I don't. I don't need my real life broken leg to be like like a plot hook to get to keep it's people show on up their and toes. Take you theories. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. So if Jamie's leg yeah. is broken and Rainer, that must be a to fight recording the nighttime. I don't. Right. I don't know if I feel good about Jamie that. rolled an uh oh <laughs> while running, <laughs> answering a question in the nighttime. Jesus Christ! His leg fucking shattered. I would I would leave this fucking podcast except I can't because my leg is broken so I'm stuck here. <laughs> uh, anyway, we've got a lot of ground to cover, folks. Um, we're doing Bombadiglio four, baby. Bombadiglio three. What is wrong with you? We did Bombadiglio three while we were waiting for you on the call. It's Bombadiglio four now. Yeah, it took you so long to walk to the, the computer that we recorded Bombadiglio Just three. Flagrant. <laughs> Flagrant with the disabled jokes. God, no, we're I... doing, we're doing Bombing <sighs> Three. There I, we go. I genuinely don't know why I said four. Yeah, yeah. So I think before we can get into Bombadiglio Three, okay. Um, I know it's been a hot minute since we did Bombadiglio Two, and the poor listeners don't remember anything. <laughs> Those darn listeners. Those darn listeners. Always forgetting stuff. Always forgetting <laughs> our very complicated and nuanced storylines. <laughs> Always forgetting things that we remember. I'm going to say one of those adjectives is definitely correct, at least. Nuance? Uh, let's <laughs> let's remind them no. of what, what has happened. Where, what, what is going on? Right. Jamie? Sure, by all means. So, uh, Bombadiglio, one quick summary. Uh, it was a bit of a backwater town in Goldon. They were having a knockoff star fest uh, sun festival called the Star Jubilee. This mysterious guy had been, like, funding it. Turns out he was bad news. He made a monster attack uh, out of revenge because he had a complicated, uh, dark and complicated backstory. So then he did that. Then he got ran out of town. His uh, name is Bombadiglio. One, yeah, Bombadiglio 2. Oh, credits. Yeah, Bombadiglio 2, he comes back and he's like, hey, I know I was bad before, but in that forest that I got ran out of town into, um, there's some sketchy shit going on. The, the Sparkle so, Woods. The Sparkle Woods. So uh, a, a group of ragtag friends and co-workers, I guess. Sorry, the Sparkle Forest. Um, there's, like, there's the bailiff, there's uh, the old farmer, there is at least one other person, I think. Yeah, so and we got Bailiff Jachuzzi, thank Farmer you. Jehoshaphat. That's correct. They went in there with Dipshit. Dipshit, that's also correct. The relative correct. of um shit. Of course. His dad's name is Oh Shit. Yep. Yeah. And then Bamadiglio himself. And they all go into the Sparkle Woods. Uh, Sparkle Forest. 
the Sparkle Forest. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they're, they're they're following a magical path, I think, uh, and they found out that the Pegan, the monster from the first one, has amassed an army of animal followers, and now thinks of himself as the god of uh, of the forest and the villages nearby. And he was like, uh, "You have to worship me and agree to be peasants and and pay me money like you would for a king." Um, yes. Because I learned what uh, the feudal system is, and now I'm I'm all about that. And our crew was like, "Yes," but on the inside they were like, "Haha, no, sneaky, we're gonna rebel." Actually, <laughs> um, and then they left. But dipshit was gone. He was not there. Some we don't know. We don't know what yeah, happened. He to him. also he also kind of lost it. He he in did the, lose a in little the bit. mind field. Yes, in the magical mind field of the Sparkle Woods. Uh, and that was basically where it ended on this very tense note of like, oh, this pagan animal guy is going to he, he's got his army and he's got his magical mind powers from the mind field and he wants to be the overlord of everything. What what happens now? It was very much a like end of act two type of thing. The first yes. one had a nice clean ending and the second one was just like, oh, everything's bad. Um, so that's where we are. <laughs> That's where we are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the village is called Stephanie. That's correct. And the minefield's primary thing is it causes you f- to forget the minefield existed in the first place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's which right. Which is going to be problematic for our characters. Right. Um, and then that's the, also... That's the effect it has on humans. On animals, it makes them like weirdly intelligent. Yes. Uh, all kinds of strange effects. Like is making this going to them... be another animal episode? <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. We're not playing them though, unless you super want to, I guess. So, so wait, so are you saying we're actually just regular people in the town while the animal episode is happening, and we see three animals come into town, <laughs> have mischief, and leave, <laughs> and we'll probably figure out what happens through context clues? N- n- no, don't set up another episode like that. We got too many in the back burner. <laughs> it's less. It's less that there's like three particular animals running around doing their things. It's more like you got a swarm of evil bugs. You got yeah. a whole herd of chickens. Seventeen. Seventeen. You got several pigs, at least. Pigs. Uh, I think there was yes. like goats. Um, no. No goats. Okay. Not yet. Maybe. No, not yet. You no, know there, there might be now. There were yes, a lot of and. bugs, though. There were a lot of bugs. Yeah, lots of bugs. Yeah. So I think let's just uh, jump in there. Okay. Um, the pigans' reign yes. has now been lasting for about nine months. Damn. Okay. Over at the village of Stephanie. Uh, he started his reign in the fall, so he brings it around to summer again. Okay. Of 2042. And, you know, I think the reign, the, the Pekin had three main rules at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, so we, I'll say those because we got to start with that. But then, you know, let's let's expand through through play. Uh, he, he required everyone to become a vegetarian. Oh, that yeah. all the animals be brought to him. <laughs> That's right. Uh, they have to pay him taxes because he's the king. And they have to build him a palace. <laughs> Otherwise, they can just continue on their lives. Right, 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 right. And so, um, I think we start with... Uh, Jamie, which one of your characters do we want to start with? Hmm. How about... Um, I don't know, Bomba Diglio himself, maybe? Okay, Bomba Diglio. What's he been up to in Stephanie? Because he's not actually a local from Stephanie, but I think he's That's stuck correct. there now That's correct. for some reason. Um, I think I had him say in the last one that he actually did try to find somewhere else after his misadventures in the woods, but he ended up yes. stumbling back into the town, and he was like, well, I guess I might as well warn these people. He's, uh, let's see. Because he's an illusion wizard. He is. Yeah, yeah. What's something fun he could do with illusions? All I could think of was like, oh, he's growing fake crops, or he's like fishing for, you know what? in a fake way, <laughs> that's but none of that makes he, any no, fucking no. sense. No, that's it. He actually hasn't been working. Yeah. He's just been pr- look, making it look like he's working. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a he's got an illusion version of himself that makes it look like he's just hard at work tending the fields and such. Um, I do want you to roll to see if people believe him or not. I don't know why. I don't know how that helps him though. I don't know what like. I mean, he doesn't get any. I mean, I guess he gets to be lazy, so that tracks. Roll, roll for it. Roll uh, what? whatever you think his magic stat is. It's probably uh, good. Difficulty. Three. Yeah. He had, he's had a lot of practice, but he also lost his artifact that made him stronger. So maybe we'll just mm. do two uh, difficulty three. Yeah, because it's it's a long period of time, you know, nine yeah. months. I'm setting him off. up to fail, but I don't even care at this point. It's Bombadiglio. Um, 
So I've got one success uh, and three disadvantages. <laughs> okay. So he succeeds yeah, yeah, yeah. in that everyone believes he's got this job Love and it. he's working. Um, but I think the disadvantage, it, or at least the animals, I'll say yeah. this, the animals no. believe he's working hard. The, okay, um, yes. <laughs> but all the humans know he's a lazy piece of shit. Right, 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 right. Um, that's one disadvantage. Uh, Jake and Jamie can think of other disadvantages. Yeah. Um, it actually ends up being hard work maintaining the illusion. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that's totally it. It's not fun. It's not like it's not like enjoyable. Arguably the same amount of work, but producing nothing. <laughs> producing yeah. literally He's nothing actually, at the end of the day. Yeah, and and that, I think that's ultimately the end. He still has no money. Um, yeah. He because yep. he has nothing to show for it. So he's putting in yeah, a lot yeah. of work. He's impressed the animals. Yeah. Um, but not the humans, and he has no money. Yeah. So I think that's Bob Diggle. He's working hard. Uh, Bailiff Jachuzzi is, um, you know, she's been patrolling the town. I feel like she's trying to throw this coup, right, to overthrow, but she keeps forgetting where the Pegan lives <laughs> because he lives, oh, in, no. he lives in the minefield. And so they built him a palace. You know, they, they did oh, it. Oh, okay. We did it. Okay, and good. Like, every time they go into the minefield and bring some lumber, like the animals lead them there, like, oh, okay. shit, this is where it is. We got to remember. And then they leave yeah. and they're like, where the fuck were we? Yeah, 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 yeah. And so they can just never remember it. Um, I think Bailiff Jachuzzi is having a conversation with, uh, who was your sandwich making guy, Jamie? Gary? Gary. She's having a conversation with Gary at his inn. Uh, and Jake, yeah. you, you can just be a different villager for now. Cool. Um, different resident okay. Stephanie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're having like their secret secret meeting. She's like, okay. So look, at this time I tried my best to try to remember where the palace was, but I don't remember. I remember I went in the woods. Right, right. And then I don't and then I came back. No, it can't it, it can't be far. I, I wandered off into them woods and then when I came to still walking, I was on the other side of them woods, but I, I, I ain't break a sweat. Now, oh. now, Ted, you are our local <laughs> expert in in walking. Every good, every good village has to have a walking expert. Yeah. Yep. Now, I I'd have to average maybe maybe five miles before I start sweating. So it's it's within that radius of the town. I'd have to say. Well, you gotta remember. You gotta remember though. Divide yeah. that by half because you went there and you came back. That's true. That's so it's true. Real close. Good point. I was Gotta only remember. starting to feel a little moist when I came back into town. <laughs> okay, so nearing we're nearing that five mile radius then. So probably about two half mile outside town. So so what we know is we can walk to it. It's walkable, which makes sense because the animals come here. Now have any of us tried uh, drawing any sort of map to uh, to I, the precise well, location? I, I, I think I did try that one time. Mm -hmm. Well, I say I think because I don't quite recall. I remember going yeah. in. I had like a little little charcoal on my arm. And by of the course. time I came out, it was just a, too many scribbles. And now, so wait. I don't yeah. now wait. Now wait. Yeah. If one of us was to stumble upon the location of the palace. Right. And stay put. Yes. And somehow get a message to people in town. Maybe... Mm. Are you you suggested we get one of them newfangled salky talkies? Do we have them? I no, we we ain't got none of those. Oh, we, okay. We oh. ain't got none of those yet. Uh, what is this? We haven't been able to get word outside of town. The animals, those those chickens and their <laughs> knuckles, they keep defending the border. We can't leave. <laughs> they do. They do have pretty intimidating uh, knuckle cracking capabilities. Now, uh, hmm. Now, Ted, I know that's been hard on you. You can't walk as as far anymore. <laughs> Getting real restless. <laughs> you're, you're, I see your legs, they shake it. They tap in all the time. I'm just practicing for next week's uh, tap dancer, Rudy. That's that's what they call you, toe tapping Ted. <laughs> yep. Toe, toe tapping Ted. <laughs> Too tragic. Uh, I think it's at this point yeah. that they hear... <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's a toast happen. Oh, perfect. <laughs> but they also hear uh, the sound. I feel like there might be like a little trumpet that sounds whenever the Pegan arrives. Of course. Oh, shit. It's like... The Pegan comes here? It comes to town? Very rarely. Oh, damn. Rarely. If, it's okay. a, if it's an animal doing it, maybe it's just like a, a weird animal call, like how peacocks yeah. kind of have like a call kind of sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just it's just a rooster. 
<laughs> oh yeah, it's one of the roosters. He's but he's trying to like perfect his cockadoodle do. He's like yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I hate that. <laughs> it's very Chronicles of Narnia. Thank yeah, you, thank yeah. You. Uh, so the the Pegan arrives. Um, I think he's definitely got one of those uh, palanquins where he's like carried in. Oh sure. Ah, uh, um, beautiful, beautiful. By by humans, humans carry of him. Of course. In. Um, and I think one of those humans that carries him in is dipshit. Oh no! Hey, hey, okay. Okay. He's alive. He's alive, but he's definitely he's mentally alive. not there. Oh, he Boy, he still is, thinks he's a cow. That is unfortunate. Well, I mean, on the plus side, he'll he'll never know about um shit. <laughs> Yeah, he Ooh. he did eat grass at he the end of the last one, and I've that. recently learned in real life that grass can like seriously fuck up your teeth because we're not designed to eat grass. Yeah, his teeth are just. It also awful. depends on the kind no, of grass. Oh no! Well, no. Okay, so it's the pink grass. He eats the pink grass in the. Oh okay. In the minefield. It's so ma- it's yeah. F- fine. Okay, it's magic know. pink grass. It's not been helping. He he we'll, looks like we'll check in. a poor mangy animal. <laughs> yeah, it's just can can we split the difference and say he now has magic pink teeth? <laughs> split the difference, magic pink <laughs> teeth. <laughs> magic pink teeth. Oddly, now more what unsettling. magic do they do? Stay tuned. Yeah, it's not yeah. a good image. Steal we'll your come heart. Come back later. Yeah. Uh, I think the pegan. Yeah, he he arrives and the town knows you gather when the pegan shows up. Yeah, it's yeah, important. Yeah. And he says, My children of Stephanie, I see you've all been working so hard, especially you, Bombardiglio. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what? Uh, it's, nice to, it's nice to be appreciated once in a while. And so, as your good and gracious God King, <laughs> I thought it would be... <laughs> A symbolic gesture to celebrate with you all. It is indeed that time of year, my seven year birthday. <laughs> it is the time of the Star Jubilee once again. Oh, oh you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> and so I am giving you the freedom to throw yourselves a festival. And I, of course, will be the crowning achievement of this celebration celebrating me your god king pagan and so put together <laughs> a fine party we shall be celebrating tonight underneath the stars Bombardiglio, keep up the good work <laughs> and ted i can hear you from here <laughs> keep your toe tapping to a minimum it's a distraction <laughs> peeking out and then he, gets, he oh just my gets God. carried away <laughs> I picture wow. there's like mostly dead silence and then there's like one or two people who realize that we should probably be reacting and they're just like yeah Woo. oh yeah All right. party yes Woo. so okay. what happens if we don't throw the party uh, oh, well uh, there was the one time we didn't pay him taxes we all know how that went we all know, we all know how that went um I can I can still hear the screams. Um, <laughs> so we don't. Throw no, away. that's just that's just. Uh, uh, yes, that's just Harold. He <laughs> he just had a rough day. He's still Fucking he's screaming. Harold, Harold yeah, scream screaming Harold, <laughs> screaming Harold. Yeah, he's just the had Harold, a rough the day. Harold, Harold, the yeah. Scream- yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just his whole deal is he likes Harold and things. Um, yeah. So that's, that's very him. But yeah, I mean, I can still re- I remember how tragic that went. So, unless. Unless? Uh, unless. Do we. My friends. She like, she like, come back back in the end. Back in the end. She like, okay, they all go back in the end. Okay. She closes the doors, make sure there's no ducks watching or <laughs> no bugs in the room. She's like, oh okay. God, the ducks the, have the, ears. The melts are still warm. Yeah. Yeah. I, listen. We've been trying to figure out how to get into the palace to defeat the Pegan. That's right. Because we never know where he's going to be. But for oh, once... Oh, I think I see where you're going. And I like to see where you're going physically when you walk. It's nice. What? <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was... <laughs> put, uh, put a coin in the horny jar. I don't I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> like... Listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That was really uncalled for. <laughs> <laughs> what was your character's name again, Gary? 
uh, fucking yeah. Gary. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, Gary, it's been a hard nine months. <laughs> oh, I bet it has. <laughs> Girl's got a dream. <laughs> Don't. When I try to say. It's been a, a hard nine months. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just came out of nowhere. We need to strike while the iron is hot. <laughs> no, you know what? I think I think you're right. Um, now if we know he's gonna be here in the town, does that mean? Are you suggesting we we try to sneak away and s- strike while the palace is unguarded, or are you saying we strike him here Sh- now? Strike, strike him. Oh, now. Oh, <laughs> this is uh, it's pretty exciting. It's pretty um. Seems pretty dangerous. Do we have do we have the weapons or the 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 the, the manpower and woman power for that kind of operation? I got my two feet. Those strong feet. Yeah, that's Connected to a strong it's, ass. It's a good start. <laughs> what is this? I don't know, man. Why? Do you have to, why are you physically compelled to try to date me in every big story arc? What is wrong with you that you have to be in some sort of relationship with me? Why are you obsessed with me, Nathan? We're gonna have we're gonna have a poll, and it's gonna be like <laughs> Katrina and Raish. Nah, don't care. Tanner and Taylor. Who gives a fuck? The bailiff and Toe Tap and Ted <laughs> is where it's at. <laughs> Jamie and Nathan confirmed. <laughs> or sorry, Jacob and Nathan confirmed. <laughs> oh Jesus! <sighs> Gotta get married in eight days. <laughs> Yeah, to me on this podcast again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway. God, no, I, I don't know if we've got yeah. the resources. We have a tour tonight to amass the, the the tools we need. Put together some kind of plan. Yes. I th- I think it's I think it's high time for a town meeting. <gasps> you don't say a town meeting. A town meeting. I yeah. I guess I did. That, I don't know. You don't know that I think about it. I, d- I didn't need that to react to that with so much. Uh, to you yeah, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I, re- I really me. reacted like that was something wild and unexpected, but that's that's actually pretty common. Yeah, I just I I, I didn't hear you the first time, so I was just like making sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was clear. What you said, town meeting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, anyway, later at the town meeting. Yeah. Okay, so they assemble a town meeting. Where is the town meeting held? In town. We haven't we haven't clarified many locations besides the plaza where they did the festival, um, yeah. the bailiff's yeah. office, like the actual jail. Um, that's kind of all, and, and the end, of course. So we could totally make up a fourth place if Jehoshaphat's we want. Jehoshaphat's barn, because it's not oh, empty. Okay. Hell yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. It's the so, last place the animals would want to go. That's right. Back to their their own imprisonment. Jamie, oh my God. Uh, Jake, do yeah. we still want to introduce... Barns are not animal jails, Nathan. <laughs> I want to make that very clear. Then what are they? <laughs> oh, no. Animal Damn. prisons? Damn, really makes you think. <laughs> <laughs> is this is Jaden Smith's Twitter feed. <laughs> so, the, the village of Stephanie gathers in the, the barn of Jehoshaphat. Old armor Jehoshaphat, Conspiracy yeah. Conspiracy theorist... Jehoshaphat, who who has turned out to be like extremely correct about just about everything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's a very so, strong uh, who, place to be. Yeah, who runs this meeting? Is it Jehoshaphat? Is it Jachuzzi? Uh, is it the pushover of a lord of Stephanie? Oh, uh, we we didn't we didn't give that person a name yet, did we? I think the bailiff probably would lead it, right? Because it's, it's be their the idea. Yeah, yeah. I think okay. So bailiff Jachuzzi, she gets up there, and maybe she like has the lord. Like next to her, okay. Jake, you should be, you should be this guy okay. or gal. Um, and uh, she's like, all right, everyone quiet down, quiet down. We don't want the bugs to hear. We don't want the bugs to hear. All right. Now we've gathered this town meeting. Y'all it was, used to uh, laugh at me when I told you the bugs were listening. Well, who is <laughs> laughing now? It's not me. I don't laugh much at all. No, 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 I, I, hey, hey, si- silence. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, 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 um, sorry. It's no, go no, go ahead. Finish, uh, <clears throat> Lord Stephanie. What? Um, uh, so I, si- I say I, I, I said silence. Um, uh, because somebody was the 
the bailiff is speaking, and I am the Lord, and I demand silence <laughs> while the bailiff Thank is speaking. You. I think the choose just like pats him on the shoulders, yeah. like, "All right." Thank you. Jehoshaphat right. is yeah. so Thank incredibly you. baffled by that entire exchange that he just doesn't say anything because that <laughs> took like four full sentences. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you, Lord uh, Tim Dim. Um, sure. We'll take it. Your name. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I can only do so much. <laughs> don't, don't have Jachuzzi in character say that. That's so confusing. <laughs> you know what? No. Fine, I'll pull up the fucking Discord. We'll get we'll get. Oh, real, good. We'll get yeah, it'll be way better than Tim Dim. Uh, it will be better than Tim Dim. Yeah. It will be better than Tim Dim. I'm looking forward Any, to this. Anything will be better than Tim Dim. <laughs> you know what? Tim Dim would probably sound fine if we didn't already have a Ted. Like, I don't want That's a Ted true. and yes. a Tim. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got to keep it versatile. Yeah, otherwise it probably would have sounded fun. Tiffany. Just Tiffany? Just, can, oh, yeah. Can, Tiffany. Can name just Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany, Lord <laughs> of Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, actually. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, thank you, Drew, for the suggestion. Tiffany. <laughs> okay. Can I so roll to Tiffany. see if my silence was effective? Sure. Silence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, difficulty will be, uh, I think, two. And I'm going to say with I a have setback. one with, with a setback. A, yeah, with a setback. Yeah. And what's your skill? One. One. Okay, one. Yeah. Nice. For some reason, I swear I thought you said sock of silence, and I was like, "What the hell is the sock of silence?" Like, <laughs> is it is it is it like Lord of the Flies? You have to hold up a sock so everyone knows you're the one who's going to talk. Yeah, yeah, so you know, the one you're going to kill your friends. Um, <laughs> so it's a failure with a disadvantage. So yeah, that's Great. love it. Yeah, <clears throat> so it doesn't work, and I think uh, Jachuzzi does take the talking sock from you. Oh, gross! Um, <laughs> There's a which talking is, sock, <laughs> which is different from the socky talkie. Right, right. Yeah, completely yes. different. Very different things. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be uh, the disadvantage is you don't have the talking sock. Yeah, <laughs> he's done. No, All right, you're not talking anymore, Tiffany. Yeah, you're done. Ooh, not even Lord Tiffany, just Tiffany. Yeah. All right, <laughs> so we've only got a couple of um, couple of minutes before um, the animals notice we're all gone at the same time. <laughs> It'll take him a while. <laughs> so wait, we didn't we didn't like wait for them to go back to the forest or anything. Well, there's, there's always a couple. Animals. Oh, there's always some around. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's sense. always yeah. there's there's a lot of bugs, you know. Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the chickens, those knuckle cracking chickens. <laughs> Boy, we're really instead we're of really... finger licking, it's <laughs> yeah, knuckle cracking. Yeah. Knuckle cracking, knuckle cracking good. Knuckle cracking good. This food's so good, it just makes you want to punch somebody. Yeah. All right, news sticker. It's the KFC logo, but it's like fist. It's just knuckle cracking good. Yeah, the K and KFC stands for knuckle. <laughs> Knuckles for cracking. Knuckles for cracking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, oh yeah, oh shit's here actually. Yeah, he is. Yeah, oh, oh shit's dad. Oh no, he's not gonna be. He's not gonna be having a good time. No, no, that's it's sorry, that's dipshit's dad. Oh shit. right, right. He's not gonna be thrilled that his son is um Mind under us, under a yeah. thrall. Yeah, but alive. He is alive. alive. Unlike um shit, who is dead? Who is very dead? <laughs> Yeah. Dead. He's dead. He's going stay dead. Horrible we'll crossbow accident. Yeah. yeah. All right, everyone. Uh, anyway, before <laughs> before we start talking so, about KFC again. So, yeah, how do we kill a big pig chicken monster? I say we stab it. Stab it. Stab it good. We could. We could stab it. That might. Maybe. If we could we could just all stab <laughs> it with, with big weapons. <laughs> Marty, we gotta stab it. <laughs> that, was, that was very Doc Brown. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, how do you how do you kill a chicken or a pig? I, I mean, I assume you just do the same thing. Yeah, there's you, lots of ways, I suppose. If if you was going to sit down and think of all of them, I mean, traditionally, you you know, you pin it down and you you you, you slaughter it with a bladed weapon, and that's that's pretty much that. But we don't usually need to take into account the um the gargantuan proportions of. That that presents a bit of a different problem. And the magic. And the magic. That's true, that's and true. And the magic. It, yeah. it does seem to have quite a thrall over all of us. But maybe. Wait. 
wait a minute. Yeah. Bob Diglio, how did yeah. how did you piss it off that one time last year? Oh, uh, well, um, when I was guiding it back towards town to try to take my ill-planned revenge on the uh, village of Stephanie and the uh, 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 blaze of glory and 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 artificial magically generated yes, lights. Yes, yes. Well, yeah. Oh, wait, um, that last part. Yeah, I made, I got some really big lights. Uh, and I told y'all that it was for the festival. Um, and when it came, made its way out of the woods, it saw a bunch of lights. And for some reason, that made it really bad. I don't fully remember why that made it so angry. There's murmuring among the crowd. Murmur. <laughs> if I could somehow go back and, like, re-listen to my memories, I bet I would have a clearer idea. Um, <laughs> it doesn't matter why. Lord Tiffany steps up. Guys, qu- come on, quiet, please. Hey, sh- really? you, hey, you don't have a talking sock. Shh. <laughs> Have we been passing around a sock to everybody this whole time? Is uh, that uh, yes? <laughs> this is just oh. for the people who are on stage. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Now, now pass me a sock. <laughs> pass it back up here. Okay, thanks. Oh, you know what? The lights weren't the only thing it hated. It used to really, really hate me. Uh, <gasps> once, once my illusion That's disguise right. was gone. Remember? Um, when the illusion fell, it was like, ah, oh, there's the the man who. I did something. Uh, I did something to it. <laughs> Feed him uh, to the pagan. Yeah, you mate. What was, what was that? Feed him to the pagan. Oh. Did you say feed him to the pagan? Feed him to the pagan. Oh, I've made a mistake. Um. You know what, Harold? Uh, that's not a bad <laughs> idea. Um, <laughs> yes. I'm glad to see you're feeling better. Um, Woo. Harold, I I really thought we had a, a developing friendship coming along when I, when I helped you out with your taxes last week. Oh, um, that's <laughs> personal. Seems to like you. I'm just thinking, li- li- just laterally. One to two. You gone. Maybe he gone. I don't know, man. Well, uh, well, it doesn't seem to hate you anymore now. It was it was telling you you did a good job and that such. All right, so never mind. The- <laughs> Forget what I said. So maybe maybe we go back to the lights thing. Perhaps I don't. No. I don't know. I think Harold's onto something. Oh, um. But oh, also, no. Gary, you're onto something. Oh. It's all about Bombadiglio. He's the center of this. Oh. Okay. You see, um. whenever Bombadiglio is here, the Pegan is here. Am I wrong? <laughs> whenever Bombadiglio is here, we suddenly <laughs> exist for an <laughs> hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> right? This when is... he was here for the, for yes. the Star Jubilee, Pegan attacks. When this he comes true. back to Wars of the Pegan, the Pegan takes over, and he's been here ever mm. since. I think if we could somehow get rid of you, Bombadiglio, or the now, Pegan will go. Now, hold on. Maybe if we can just get Bombadiglio out of Stephanie somehow. Yes. I, In my defense, I've I've tried. Uh, when I was run out the first time, I, was, I wasn't I was intending to come back. I, I wandered, I was lost in the woods, and then I found myself back in the town square, which I guess now we can probably chalk that up to the magic of the... Uh, what did the we mind, call it? The, the minefield? Mind. Wait, no. Hold on. The sparkle forest. The, yes, the magic the of the sparkle, sparkle forest. The sparkle forest. Yeah. Because that's all it is. Well, <laughs> have you tried leaving the other way? Like, Stop. Like, like following the road? Stop. Don't be... Don't be ridiculous. No one could leave the other way. Oh. oh <laughs> it's unheard no. of. It's unthinkable. Oh, no. You're right. What was I thinking? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> How dare I suppose you just follow the fucking road and leave? Oh, no. <laughs> let's go back. Let's circle back. Let's go back okay. to what we were talking about before that. <laughs> the lights play. The lights play. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's say Bobby Dickley leaves. What? <laughs> Why don't we all just ex- fucking leave? We can't just leave our home. Okay, why? I mean, we could. I guess. We can just leave. We don't like it here. <laughs> You've just made it really clear that we could just walk down the road. We could have just been doing that. Well, the reason we couldn't was because of the chickens. Yes. Okay. There was that. Right. There was that. Right. There's, there it is. Okay. We did establish this already. Yes, 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 okay. yes, yes, yes. So yes, here's, yes, yes. This has been a great brain. I think she's got like a, like a board <laughs> up. Board. So here's, really accomplishing, really accomplishing a lot today. Yeah. Yeah. Here's what we got so far. Yeah. I think we need to do a couple things. Okay. A, Bombadigo needs to leave, which 
has to can only be accomplished if we take care of those KFC chickens. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. So that's that's not one. trademarked. Not okay. capital. KFC chickens. Number two, I think the Pegan, we I think if we can try to kill it, I mean that's a good second plan. And so as we've established to kill it, we need to tie it down and we need a big knife. <laughs> oh boy. Right? This plan this plan is getting a little complicated for my days. <laughs> and I think we also need big lights. We need the big lights, that's clearly what aggravates it. So if we get the pigeon on edge, yeah. right? So we get the pigeon on edge. Yeah. Bob Diglo leaves. That's going to get even more on edge. It's going to be like, well, I got to follow it. Uh, and then, boom, <laughs> tie it down, big knife. We'll have some pigeon sandwiches. Hmm. God, I miss meat so much. <laughs> Since we're all forced to become vegetarians. Um, Ain't that right, Ted? Okay. I don't know. I've I've actually found it rather freeing. I, I don't mind it so much, I guess. I, I realized I didn't really need meat so much i just you know you get your basic nutrients your proteins and ted ted damn huh i ted i what? i want i want to eat meat that hey <laughs> more power to it ain't it ain't it ain't like a social rats thing i don't care if you kill them and eat them i just you know the, <laughs> more of a forced lifestyle and i, I think i'm kind of coming to enjoy it so you know you have, oh, your, sure, have your bacon sure. have your bacon i don't mind <laughs> but i'll i'll be over here with with me and mine <laughs> okay so i think here's what we gotta do uh let's divide yeah. and conquer because some of us also need to set up the, yes, the trap, the party. So how about this? Who wants to be in charge of taking out the cheek, the chickens? Well, the volunteers. I, I, I'm, I'm going to be first on that list. Ted. 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 Tip. Tap. 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 Ted. That's T- toe tapping. Ted. <laughs> That's me. Triple T. Triple T. He's got that KFC chickens. His nickname okay. is Toe Tapping Ted. His real name is Ted. Tap. 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 Ted. <laughs> That's right. I can't dead, keep dead, having dead, characters dead, whose dead, names dead. are just speech impediments. Just like impossible to remember. <laughs> also, who wants to be in charge of making the big lights? Big lights. Bamba Diglio, how did how did you procure these uh, gigantic lights last time? Oh wait, well, uh, do we still have them? Uh, no, I I think they were all destroyed. Um, oh, that's right. In the in the rage riot afterwards. Yeah, but uh, well. I don't suppose anyone in town kept them, did they? Hey guys, wait a minute. I'm yeah. a fucking illusion wizard. <laughs> I can just make I can just make lights. Yep. I can just make things that look like lights. Yep. I I should have done that I should have done that the first the I think that I think that's what I did the first time, actually. I think I made oh them magically God. enhanced illusion lights. Now that I think about it. Shabamba Diglio. Oh wow. Catch you. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of practice. Uh my 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 illusion magic is coming along. We know. <laughs> yeah, we, we know, Mama Diglo. You haven't done shit for nine months, okay? Or maybe, no, maybe no, that's this. what I wanted you to think. <laughs> Mama Diglo. <laughs> if that is your real name, which I think we established is, it not. isn't. Nope. Okay. It's we'll, not. we'll make sure to get to that in the next 30 to minutes. Sure. Whatever I'll, your I'll name tell is. it to you right now. Oh, oh, oh damn. Guy, oh, okay. guy, guy who's done a lot and does a lot, McGee. That's... <laughs> That's my name. Man, that's man, that's because I do a lot. I don't, I don't do nothing. Bam, 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 look at me in the eyes right now. Uh huh. Is that is that your is that your right or given name? <laughs> you can't look, it's lie. Been a really, it's been a weird nine months. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll get back to that. No. All right, and who wants to get a big knife? Oh, I can do that. I can. Uh, I mean, what is a broken one tongued pitchfork if not a really big knife? Right? Hey. It's not. It's it's not though. Well, then we sharpen the rest of it, I guess. That, I mean, in my mind, like, like geometrically, that works, right? We could just sharpen every edge, maybe. I think. How about this? You're yeah. in charge of getting the big knife. Yeah. I don't care how or where. Just, okay. It's got to be a big knife. Yeah. Um, and then Gary? Yeah. You know, you, you know how to throw, put together Star Jubilee. You know, I was always hoping somebody would, uh... Finally, appreciate the hard work that I used to put in on our, our town's beloved festivals. Um, never quite pictured it like this, though. I think I think you need to put on the best show to distract the Pegan from the fact that we we is going to try to kill it. Best damn star jubilee this town has ever seen. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> or else it'll be its last. Bum, Ooh, bum, there we go. Bum. All right, I think we should have everyone 
all the characters do a roll sure. to see how well their part of the plan goes. Okay. Fuck yeah. Toe Tap and Ted, what kind of stats? I'm going to say maybe dexterity or athletics. Well, we don't have athletics. We don't. <laughs> or sorry, dexterity or fancy feet. Ooh, there we yeah, go. Well, okay, fancy so, feet. First of all, it's gotta how's be fancy he, feet. Yeah. How is he going to try to take out the the chickens? Like, what is his approach? His, his approach is he he's the perfect antithesis because the chicken. Well, it doesn't say what knuckles they're cracking. <laughs> I suppose I was throwing sure them with like fists. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yep. So they're going to come at him with fists. He's all legs, baby. Oh, sure. Sure. <laughs> yep. And he's got the that energy's stored up. It's right. pent up. Right. Just both, both the anger and jazzed exactly then that is fancy feet yeah 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 okay so uh the difficulty is gonna be i think three i think these chickens are pretty is, is this one of those like you can fight a hundred horse size or a hundred uh duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck is that what this is like there's 17 Se- there's 17, 17 right. chickens yes um they're not, I, I they're would not say. substantially larger than normal chickens are they they might have grown a little bit. Did they? they oh, maybe they did. Okay. Because yeah. of the, you never know. It's been nine months. Um, I would say you've got max stats on this though. Plus oh, a boost. Yeah. yeah. Your boost from being jazzed. Yeah. If Toe Tap and Ted doesn't have max stats in dexterity and fancy footwork, who does? Uh, it's a triumphant play. Oh Fuck shit! Yes. All right. Let's All right. Go. Um, and then otherwise we have. Are you shitting me? <laughs> Just uh. Straight failure. Um, no advantages, no disadvantages. But did Everything you include canceled. the success of the triumph? No, so it's just a success. The there triumphant play is the only one that didn't cancel. Wow. Great. So you succeed with triumph. Yes. Holy okay. shit. Okay. Um, I, I'm going to awesome. say, since we don't have triumph moves, <laughs> that we should probably just use it for this moment. Yeah, no, I'm not going to hold so on anyway, to it. So anyway, you slaughter a bunch of chickens. <laughs> slaughter yeah. the shit out of them. Yeah, how does how does that look? The chickens are like border patrolling, cracking yeah. their knuckles, and they see <sighs> you approaching. Yeah, and um, he he kind of like skip hop gallops over to them. And then <laughs> like right before he gets to the first one, he does the like the football like juke and like runs around it and goes for the next one and just boots it as hard as he can yeah just puts it <laughs> yeah and then yeah. after the Incredible. first one he's like oh they're chickens yeah <laughs> and he yeah. just start. it's a kicking frenzy from there yeah just left and Excellent. right feathers Excellent. flying <laughs> yeah I'm gonna say uh, yeah you you defeat all of the chickens they're gone alright um and so that's that's the triumph is that the chickens are no longer a threat and they ain't coming back. Boom! All right, th- wow. you kick those suckers, you mm. know, fucking to Tarif. You know, like they're gone. <laughs> They've been eliminated. So that's Toe Tap and Ted. He succeeded triumphantly. Hell the chickens yeah. are gone, and I Woo. think uh, Toe Tap and Ted. He feels, I think he feels confident. Mm. He feels yeah. a rush. He yeah. feels more alive than he's ever been. Yes. Yeah. His toes have been tapped. He's tapped out. <laughs> Why is he not tapped out? He's tapped in. He's tapped on. I don't know what he's that would even mean. <laughs> Different prepositions. Okay. Uh, Farmer Joe is tapped about. over. Yeah. It's let's. You're getting a big knife. Yep. Get a big knife. What What should you roll for that? I don't. What do you think? I don't know, man. Is it smithing? Oh, yeah, I love that, actually, yes. yeah. Yeah, he's got smithing, sure. Okay, so fuck yeah. Big um, because he's a farmer, does that overlap with smithery? Not, can I can I give him a three? It's not sure. That's Explosive. what I want to yeah, do. Sure. Fuck yeah, how, how difficult is it to make a big knife? He farms the iron from the mine. <laughs> yes. I, think it's just, I think it's just two. Love difficulty it. Difficulty two. Try to okay. turn a, a, a plowshare into a sword, the reverse fuck of yeah. the biblical verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can I, can I add anything to that or nah? What, do you have a reason? I, I wanna. <laughs> um, that's not, a, that's not a reason. <laughs> um, the reason is that this role isn't very good otherwise. <laughs> okay. Well, what'd you get? It's two failures and two advantages. Okay. So I'm going to say you were not able to turn your... Uh, pitchfork. That's correct. Into a, a weapon. Right. But I'll say, maybe you don't find a big knife. Uh huh. But I'll say you can create a different t- 
type of weapon. So it's not okay. a bladed weapon, but you're going to create some weapon. other type of weapon. I'll let you think on that. Um, okay. I was about to say, let's go to the next character, and they're all you. <laughs> so, they're all me? Yeah, Bombadiglio and Gary. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't remember what either of these fools were going to do. So Bombadiglio you... was going to make big lights. He was going to make big lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to make big light illusions. I, I feel like I could argue with three, because he is still a wizard. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What difficulty for that one? Two? Three? Let's go... I think this is very important. Three, but I'll give him a boost because okay. he's done this specific... He has done this before. ...thing before. Um, and I'm going to say, Jake, do you think... I think you were trying to mention Harold still kept one of the lights. Can I make one of the greens a yellow because this yeah. is a skill? Yeah. yeah. I don't... do. I mean, if if Harold like brought it, would that give him some sort of an advantage? Yeah, I think it'd give him a boost again. Okay. Yeah, so they kept one of the lights. Another boost. Okay. Damn, uh, I have two successes. Everything right. else canceled out. So Bombadil That's succeeds success. yeah. at uh, being able to... He, he's just practicing. Yeah, you know? he's being able to rework one of those lights, make it big and bright. Yeah. And finally, Gary. Yes, uh, Gary. I think I said administration. <laughs> Party planning. Yeah, he's, he's definitely good at that. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we'll we'll throw in we'll throw in a yellow on that one. Two greens For and sure. one yellow is what I'm is what I'm thinking. How difficult is it to put on a star jubilee? <sighs> difficulty three. Difficulty three. And I think a setback just because it's last minute. Uh, on keeping with the last one, could I also do a boost because this is again he's done it before. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So we got a lot of dice in the play. I like that. I like a lot that. of dice. All right. We got. Two successes, but three failures. So a failure. Two advantage. Two disadvantage. Oh, fuck. It's just a failure with nothing else. Wow. Okay. That so didn't go well at all. All right. The stress Jeez. gets to him. Yeah. You know? He's not able... He's a perfectionist, you know? <laughs> he's, he's not able to make it to the caliber he's yeah. used to. So I think that's where we'll, we'll pick up then. Yeah, that makes sense because he's had one day to plan it instead of months and months like usual. Right, exactly. So it's um, it's evening. It's twilight, right? The stars are coming out, and um, the festival's getting put together. But it's right. not. What is what is Gary doing at this moment? Desperately asking people, please sign up for the festival. I'm begging you. We have no one on the list so far. Yep. Meanwhile, Totab and Ted, he's feeling great. <laughs> he's had a really good day, a really productive afternoon. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's at this point. That uh, made of Chichuzi. She's maybe talking with uh, Tiffany, right? The Lord of Stephanie. She's like, "All right, Tiffany, this is this is the moment, right? This this is a big this is the big. But we could we could get our town back. I don't know. You do you have any words of wisdom? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought that's what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> I thought I'd I thought I'd give you a moment to kind of redeem yourself. I'm after sorry. The... Oh no! It's it's okay. It's okay. It's not your fault. It feels like my fault. Yep, I can see why you would feel that way. Listen, how about this? Tonight, it's gonna be the big, it's gonna be the big opportunity, and for you, she's like down on her level. She's like, I want you to not get in the way. Oh, no, Jesus. That's so sad. I will try. Nope, I can't. I cannot <laughs> have that. I need I need a yes, ma'am, from you, okay? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, what was that? <coughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, my God. Okay, we'll take it for now. Okay. <laughs> just uh, just go get yourself some treats at the festival and... um. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> How did you guys get recordings of me talking to my therapist? <laughs> oh, How disrespectful. No. You tell your therapist to talk like that. Wow. It feels like my fault. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. I thought you meant go get some treats from outside. Go get some treats at the festival. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, the, the big lights are all set up. Yeah. Um, the stage, I think, maybe is, you know, they leave that set up, so it's it's kind of good to go. But Gary's frantic, running around. This poor man. He's doing his best. And it's at this point that they hear the rooster. <gasps> it is time. And then arrives the Pegan. The Pegan. With his court, the floating pigs of different colors, one of them that walks upside down. Yeah, that's right. Some of them were like negative, uh, like photo negative. It's all the different skins when you pick your character in uh, Super (laughs) Smash Bros. That's right. Perfect. It's um, the two ducks were like his, his like, not bodyguards, but the ones that like flank him on each side. Oh, sure, sure. And the swarm of bugs that have just only chanted death. So bad. Death. You kind of stop hearing it after a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like regular buzzing, you know, just kind of like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> just a lot uh, louder. Yeah, they've arrived. <laughs> There's kind of a hush over the crowd. The pig says, oh, my children, I see you have now finished putting together what I've asked you to do. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself, Gary? What? What 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 do you mean? Uh, are you sitting yourself? We did we did the thing you asked us to. We, we you did have it. not done what I asked you to do. Oh, I I Gary. think I misheard you. I apologize. You did, and this is only one of your shortcomings. I wait. What are we I, talking about here? Yeah, I'm not. I I feel like we're on different pages. Uh, to quote a religious phrase, um. <laughs> Don't you dare. Talk about that filthy religion in front of me. Oh, no. I am your god. Oh, okay. The pagan. But for well, real, though, what are we talking about? <laughs> I'm, I am upset that the festival is not clear. It's clearly not put together. Oh, wait. Uh, well, we, 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 haven't, we haven't started the act yet. Let's, let's, let's get started with the... <laughs> woo, here we go. Star Jubilee. Let's start the... Um, uh, I've got I've got some some melts uh, in the cart. Um, <laughs> cooking kind of cooking milk, up Gary? cooking up hot. What? What's in the sandwich, Gary? <laughs> Fuck me. Um, do do cauliflower it's, steak. Uh, it's a delightful cauliflower steak with uh, um, imitation. Uh, we're, uh, we're vegetarians. Cheddar? We're not vegans. We can have cheese. Oh, okay. With 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 cheddar and uh, tomato. And a, a nice, a nice, uh, a nice garnish of parsley. There you go. You have redeemed yourself for now, <laughs> Mary. But let us commence with the show. And so he like has his palanquin move up. Yeah. And what did the ducks say? Like, what was their voice? That's a great question. <laughs> I wasn't even 100% sure there were ducks up until this point. So if you remember. Uh, I took note on the ducks. Oh, you say, oh, yeah, yes, brother. They have come oh, to the field. Right. <laughs> and so I think one of the ducks says, that's right. Yes, my lord. It is time for the show. Let them perform for you, my liege. <laughs> dance. Dance away. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. brother. Is that the other duck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Dance, dance yes. for your master, brother. Yeah, dance. I can tell you, I can tell you we're leaving an opening for a back and forth Jake character as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right then, Gary. Who is our first act? Uh, and as you've mentioned, no one has signed up. You know what? You <laughs> Just know what happens? Grabbing people from the crowd. <laughs> you know what happens? Um, what happens? A voice says, "I've got your first act right here." <gasps> and uh, the Pegan is going to see Bomba Diglio sprinting out of town down the path that oh. they were talking about earlier of like oh, he's gonna go he's gonna leave he's doing it now oh, he's my. doing it now okay um uh, the Pegan I think he's gonna turn and he's gonna be like Bombardilio where do you think you're going <laughs> who's he saying this to he just said he just said Bombardilio but he's like running off <laughs> Is yeah, he yelling but at his him? voice mm. oh, it okay. booms yeah, and echoes. True. Gotcha. I'm, 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 I'm leaving. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try to find a new town. Uh, to better, I don't know. Um, spread my, uh, my, my knowledge. I think that the pig and he goes, huh, huh, 
Uh, you can't leave. My chickens have surrounded this town. And they have not kept anyone leaving these nine, nine months. I'm, I'm getting further away. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really going. I'm totally leaving. <laughs> I can I can barely nobody's hear you now. stopping Bob and Tingle. <laughs> the people in town are like, oh shit, is this it? It's not someone trying to stop me. Is he just gonna do <laughs> it? She's like, I thought he was gonna do the lights thing first. I guess make them brighter, but I guess I guess this is it. I, so we we so just like, wait. I want to I want to be clear. The lights are still there. Yeah, but they're like, was he gonna make make them like really bright? Oh, um, can I can I roll for him to do that now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. When I mean, you did don't. succeed on the other one, so I'm gonna say. You have control over these, so I think it'll just be a difficulty uh, two. Sweet. Just because you're far away. Put in the yellow because it's his skill. Actually, he's not, actually, he's not far away. Oh, well then just the, difficulty one. The Bombadiglio that's running is an illusion. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh. Okay, then at a setback, though, because okay. you're doing two illusions at once. Doing two illusions at once. Oh, shit. Ba -ba -bum -bum -ba -da -bum. All right, we've got... Poor oh shit. Uh, hmm. Three advantages, but it is a failure. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, boy. So this kid... he's not able to make the lights brighter. I think yeah. he's too focused on the illusion. Yeah. But with that, I think I'll let you say, as he's trying to make the lights brighter, he's, he just can't do it. You yeah. can make a different illusion appear. Okay. I'll, I'll lump all three. You can do one really good other illusion at this point. Okay. Um uh could it be that the his spell that was supposed to make the lights super bright backfired so entirely that it actually made all the lights seem to go out? So it's like super dark in the town Ooh. square now? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So it's really, really dark. It's hard for anyone to see anything, but there is still the illusion of Bombadiglio running like hell out of town. Yeah. Um and he doesn't he doesn't fully have a plan for what he's going to do mm -hmm. when it gets further and further away. He was just really hoping that the thing would try to chase him. Yeah. Yeah. So I think at this point, uh, the lights have gone off. The Pegan is now uh, he's like, what's going on? Duck Brothers, go get him. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> yes, my lord. Yes. <laughs> God, I hate the Duck Brothers. <laughs> And the ducks. I think my duck. He's he's running. What How was now? that motion? How do ducks run you know, again? Nathan? Like, like he has his wings out. <laughs> oh, okay. He's waddling. Sure. I'm trying to I'm trying to show that. Man, I wish we recorded the video on these. <laughs> I need I need to record myself doing that so the patrons can see this. That was Arms amazing. Out. Arms waddling, akimbo. shaking, like out of care in the world. It was like a shimmy. Yeah. Yeah. Is your duck brother going? <laughs> yeah, he said brothers. Yeah, okay. So they're chasing after the illusion of Bombadiglio. Yes. Right, right. What is everyone else doing? Um, Ted, What's route? Ted's going to try and find the big knife. He's going to try and find who's got the big knife in the dark. All right. Uh, yes. So so Jehoshaphat failed at making a big knife, right, correct? But, but yeah, he but, was able to make another weapon instead? Yep. Yeah, Ted doesn't know that, though. Right. Um, I was, I was just going to say, I haven't come up with anything yet. If you guys want to help me conceive of a weapon that is ostensibly worse than a knife because I did fail um, so it can't be too cool but it has to be something <laughs> just a big spoon just a spoon it's a really You're wholly terrifying spoon. slightly more confusing you took one of your shovels <laughs> yeah. like bent yes. it even more so it's just a big yes spoon he accidentally unsharpened the shovel edge <laughs> um, he accidentally he made it more darling. Yeah, he yes. accidentally dulled it. Thank you, Jake. Unsharpened, he, um, yes. He made it more blunt, less harmful. Um, it's just a big metal spoon. Yeah. So, okay. So, so in the dark, Toe Tap and Ted, he finds Jehoshaphat, <laughs> asks him for the knife, do the scene. <laughs> and go. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, this is, this is just. Hey, wait. This is just, this I is just that shameful. Voice. This is this is the worst this could have gone. Quick, this is the sword? an insult, we an insult to my family name. I don't know about any sword. I don't know about any knives. I I don't even know about any pitchforks. All I have is this. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot of round edges. I'm not yeah, not altogether not, sure. What is this? 
Unless unless our opponent is a delicious soup, I don't think this is really going to do anything for anyone. I um, might know a man that could make that happen. <laughs> what? Bob what, does, what does that mean? He's, trying, he's gonna try and find Bob Okay. okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, he can find he can find the real Bob Yeah. Okay, cool. Bob Diglio, ain't you got some magic? Turn that turn that into soup. Do you want you want me to turn the pecan into soup? Can you? That would be so convenient. What <laughs> has given you the impression that that's in my that's in, in my capabilities? I don't know. I mostly do illusions, man. Um. I uh I keep losing my voice. Uh I am an illusion guy. That's pretty much I think that's all I've ever done. I can turn him into the illusion of soup. I don't think if that you, would be helpful. I if you want me to make the pegan look like a big steaming bowl of soup, I can I can do that. Will he feel like a bowl of soup? <laughs> Probably not. The no, no. no. <laughs> uh Chuzi comes up she's like, All right, guys, a time. Tap into some, we gotta get some, him. some really deep well of illusionist power where the greatest illusionists in all of Palladium could make their targets feel like they had turned into a thing as well. <laughs> uh, to choosy only hypnotism. hearing the end of this conversation, says, I don't know yeah. what's going on, um, <laughs> but now is the time. I'm going to go tackle this pagan, and you two... Do whatever you need to do oh. to beat this thing, because this is the one shot, one opportunity. Oh. <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. It comes once Go in a in. lifetime. Um, yeah, I guess uh, I could like, I could like make him see his darkest nightmares or something. I don't care what you do. I'm running maybe. in. <laughs> uh, Ted's gonna try and snap off, like try and like bust it enough to make it just sharp, like to make it pointy. Love that. Love that. To make it a spork. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's going to try and beat up the shovel and turn it into a spork. Right. Okay. Um, you do that. One of the ones with the, like, serrated knife edge. Sure. So, oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Are you breaking off the whole, like, shovel metal end so it's just a wooden stick? No. Or are you actually deforming the metal <laughs> I'm deforming right now? deforming the metal these... right now on the cobblestones. So you're just going to smack it against the cobblestone to make it semi-sharp? Yes. <laughs> Sure. You know what? <laughs> yeah. Nice quest. Go for it. <laughs> That's what you want to hear. i to tackle the Pegan. That's what I'm you want to hear it. is when the DM says in a really defeated tone, sure, you know what, whatever, Night's quest. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even fucking care at this moment. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. I'm going to have Jachuzzi. Yeah. She's going to roll difficulty three, but one's a red. And I'm going to say she's got uh, two yellows and a green. A boost because uh, she's surprising the Pegan, but a setback because it's dark. Oh, that all makes sense to me. I just wanted to roll out of dice. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what you get. Yeah. I might kill off Jujuzi. Oh, shit. That would drastically t- change the tone of this trilogy. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> you can't kill someone if they didn't roll an oh, no on a red, right? I'd- I did roll an oh no. Oh, you did? Oh, Ooh. okay. I didn't even know there was a red in play. I did. I threw it in there. Oh. Well, why did you do that? Because. Okay. All right. There's two advantages, Uh huh. but a failure and an oh no. Huh. So I'm going to say, here's what I'm going to say. Yeah. She is not able to tackle the Pegan. Yep. But I am going to pass a boost forward to whoever does attack him. Okay. All right. Because she's distracted the Pegan. Yeah. And the oh no is going to be the Pegan is going to like, she like goes to tackle him. And the Pegan like grabs her, like lifts <laughs> her into the air. Oh and he God. says, Jachuzzi, I thought you knew. I thought you were wise. <laughs> but clearly, you are just another fool. Trying to stop the progress that I have created here, and he's gonna do uh, some kind. There's like some kind of pink glowing around her, so oh, whatever no. magic he has, and he like casts her to the side, and she like collapses into some of the like seats Jesus. of the okay. auditorium, um, and she's that's clearly some kind of magic going on to her, but so she's uh she's gonna be out for now. Yeah, it's going to be a problem later for sure. Um, let's have God. What what can any of my characters do right now? Well, hold on. We got to figure out how does the 
this the shovel process going, Jake? <laughs> I, I haven't rolled anything because I don't know what to roll. Yeah, it's a great question. Who has um, it now? Ted. I think we have a tinkering it's stat. Ted? Okay. Is it tinkering though, or is it just like brute force? <laughs> um, I could see brute or tinkering being the stat. <sighs> I'm gonna go with brute because I'm just imagining him wailing on it. All love right. that. Love that. Toe tap and Ted. Uh, difficulty. I mean, to 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 form the shovel, I think it's only a two. I don't think it'll be that hard. Three to make it actually a useful weapon. Sure. And I'm gonna go with. You know what? He's just he's got three greens. He's a physically disciplined man. Yeah, love it. Yeah. Okay, we have a success and a disadvantage. <gasps> oh, okay. All right. So all right. I'll say this: you are able to make it into the um the sport into the weapon, but the bugs you've they've noticed you, and that now oh, you have no. the bugs oh, to deal with. All first. the clanging. Death! 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 Yep. Death! 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 It's just death, awful. Death. How do you handle the bugs? Adeptly. Um, <laughs> Got them. Successfully. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This game is easy, guys. Why didn't we think of that? Yeah, I just, I win because I'm better. That's, I mean, that's Knight's Quest 1 for you. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, he is going to, you know, he's just going to start, he's going to start just shuffling around as fast as he can. He's going to try and kick up a little, a little uh, dust Smoke screen. Oh, good, 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 good. And it, are you just trying to get past them or trying to kill the bugs? I don't think I'm trying to kill them with dust. No, I'm just trying to get past them. Okay. Um, so you're doing a diversion. Fancy feet. Yes. Difficulty. Seems right. Two. It's bugs. We've got a success and an advantage. Okay. Yeah. You're able to get around the bugs. And I think that there's so much dust that they... Uh, not only are gonna be distracted, I think that's gonna get them out of the fight. Okay, I think I know I think I know Bombadiglio's next move. Okay. Should we have done an order for this? Maybe, but it's too late. <laughs> well, I didn't even realize up until now that we had this many characters, honestly. That didn't cross my <laughs> mind. N- Nathan, tell me how this tell me how this works dice wise. Uh I want to lift the other illusions so that light is normal and everyone can mm. see. Uh, I want the Pegan to see an illusion of, I'm going to say Gary eating a delicious roast beef melt <sighs> that's like clearly got a lot of meat in it. Yes. But it's not really there. Yeah, let's uh, roll uh, a spell casting and we'll okay. see how that goes down. All right. I'm going to do my usual two green and a yellow probably. Heat of the battle, three difficulty probably. Let's go. Um, I think that's only two. Hey, it works for me, man. Yeah, because I think that's a pretty standard illusion. I love it. Like a person. Three successes, two disadvantages. Okay, I'm going to say that uh, you're able to conjure this Gary illusion. Mm, Boy, I do sure love eating the flesh of other creatures. uh, (laughs) Living creatures, animals that used to be alive. I'm going to say... Though, I don't know if you've been keeping track of Bombadiglo's, how often he's cast spells. Yeah, he's cast like four or five at this point. Um, We didn't have a DP amount for him in the past, but yeah. we could. I'm going to say what we'll do yeah. is with these disadvantages is you have one DP left. Sure, that works for me. So we'll, we'll set that up there. Don't and, have one um, left. The other disadvantage is that I think um, you have trouble getting rid of one of the other illusions. That's fine. Honestly, if if one of the other illusions is staying up, I'm totally down with that. If that means there's still a fake Bombadiglio distracting the ducks out on the path, <laughs> I'm down with that. That's fine with me. Or oh, you know what? Here's what we'll do. Yeah. The fake Bombadiglio is also a second Gary <laughs> eating roast beef. And so the two ducks are going to be like, <gasps> Yeah, wait. What has happened? <laughs> what has happened? <laughs> Brother. Bombadiglio is turned into Gary. I'm I'm sorry, brother. What? <laughs> Look at him in front of us. He now has a melt. Oh, that's what you said, brother. I brother. I I didn't actually understand, brother. <laughs> I was I was looking for a clarification. He's clearly some kind of illusion, brother. Mm, he's clearly Gary, brother. <laughs> You're right. It is, brother. We must 
pursue him. He is eating the flesh of other animals, brother. Brother. <laughs> and they pursue. I hate that this is the dumbest character you guys have ever put together, and it's still making me laugh like an idiot. <laughs> I'm so upset. Okay, uh, so the Pegan, seeing yeah. Gary eat the melt, yep. is now, he'll. I think he's also going to second guess his own, he's like, Gary, I can't believe you would do this to me. Mm-mm. Delicious. G- Gary. <laughs> Tasty. Fills you up. Gary, throw that down. <laughs> throw down your ways. Or I will make you. I really thought he would, like, go after him and we would have a chance for somebody else to take advantage of his distraction. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, he, the Pegan is clearly distracted. And yeah. he's, like, still sitting in his, like... <gasps> I think he maybe he like nudges to dipshit. He's like, "Walk, my minions," and then they like start carrying him <laughs> forward towards the illusion Gary and the Pegan, just like sitting upright. I think you know he's got like a little crown. I, I, we didn't say this, but I think he's got a crown. Okay, and a little cape. <laughs> That's a very good image. And he's walking forward. Y'all patrons, can somebody please draw this monstrosity? I need to have a better mental image in my head of what on earth this thing looks like. Because right now I yes, don't. half chicken, half long pig. Yeah, yeah. Like, I can't fathom that in my mind. So yes. I need y'all help on this one. Yeah. Okay, so he's being brought forward. I think he's he is distracted. Is anyone going for it? Turk to and Ted? Yeah. You've got the weapon. Yeah. I could, yeah. Okay. I mean, he's got to try. Go for an, Go for an attack. You do get two boosts. Okay. One from uh, Jachuzzi's sacrifice. Oof. And one from this illusion. Okay. Distracted. I think whatever your weapon is, it's probably not going to be great, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to say the Pegan's resistance should be a three. And and then... Got what are you rolling for the positives? Two greens. Oh, fuck. Okay. Is that all? At two greens and two boosts. Oh, that's true. Okay. I did say that, yeah. All right. This is a dramatic moment. This is important. Okay. Remember, this is our this is our return to the Jedi as far as uh, storytelling goes. <laughs> Yo. It's a success with two advantages. Hey, no, all hey, right, all yes, right. For real? For fuck real, yeah. for real. All right. You dead ass right now. <laughs> I'm dead ass right now. <laughs> Okay, so that means you can deal extra damage. <gasps> oh, incredible! And so, how do you how do you hurt the Pegan? You know what? Here's what's gonna happen. He's yeah. gonna um. Why? How would this ever make sense? Uh, you know, he's just gonna do it. <laughs> um, he's gonna uh, kind of roundhouse kick it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like yeah. instead of stabbing or throwing, he's gonna use his foot power. Yeah. <laughs> His to toe tapping power. It. Yeah, his toe tapping power is is actually gonna, <laughs> he's going to tap four times on the back of it in the span of one second, and it's oh going to launch it at the Pegan. <laughs> so it doesn't even use the spoon. What do you mean? You just kick him? No, 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 no. He kicks the back of the shovel that he's mangled four times. Oh, okay. In less than a second, and, and the power of that launches it at the Pegan. Okay, okay. Damn. I see. So what you're saying is you kick yeah. the spoon, yes. which rocket launches it towards the Pegan. Yes. <laughs> right, right. Yes. Now, is the goal to impale or to slice or to bash? Scoop? Did you, you say, say scoop? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the goal is to scoop? <laughs> it's a spoon. I guess you succeeded. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you scoop, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you, you scoop. And, and Farmer Jehoshaphat sees this and he says, he is the one. So <laughs> <laughs> damn it, dead. I, okay, so you yeah. scoop out. <laughs> yeah. What do you scoop? What, what Nathan? What do I scoop out? <laughs> Wait. And then Bamba Diglo remembers how he cast this spell on the Pegan. <gasps> how he had been doing some illusion magic to to two animals, right? Yeah, yeah. And he accidentally fused them together. Yes. Well, what if with this spoon uh-huh. you scoop one of the animals <gasps> back out? Whoa. Oh my god. Incredible. So you redivide the yeah. pegan back into a pig and a chicken. Right. And and Ted had just been talking about like, "Hey, 
can you make him think he's a bowl of soup? And at the time, Bombadiglio had been like, no, of course not. But now he's like, wait a minute. Is soup not just the combination of two things fused together? Oh, my together? God. Oh, so shit. using so using all of his illusion knowledge and the inspiration from soup and Ted's incredible scooping power, he uses a spell to separate the pegan back into its component yes. parts. Yes. How do I roll this? No, it's already <laughs> it's okay. just happened. You know, yes, it's just he's done. been scooped. Yeah, yeah. he's, he's been already scooped. been scooped. We had the roll. Yeah, <laughs> you got scooped, son. <laughs> it was the weapon we needed all along. The spoon. <laughs> That's wow. the only way it could have worked. Wow. <laughs> so the wow. pegan mm. gets redivided. Oh, incredible. Into a pig and a chicken. But he still has the intelligence in one of them. No, the intelligence is split. Oh, okay. What does that mean? That means he's stupider. Oh, okay. And so the chicken. With one of the, maybe the last moments, he's like cracks a few knuckles. <laughs> well, he, he's not one of those oh, chickens. Okay, he's just a regular chicken. Okay. Regular chicken. Like, My children. He's a lot smaller now. <laughs> what have you done? I, I feel I'm hungry. <laughs> I want seeds. No, <laughs> no. They were. I desired something greater than oh, no. Than uh, this ooh, is. Seeds, yum. Oh my. And he's clearly like, he's losing his ability to like form a feudalism. He stayed too long <laughs> in the hawk. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's like, too mm, long in the hawk. Peck, peck. <laughs> peck. Yum, yum. Peck. Peck, peck. <laughs> if chickens could speak, they would just say the word peck over and peck. over. Yeah. Peck, peck. peck. Yeah. And I think then, um, the other creatures are still alive, though. The, the right, bugs right. Are, are there. The other pigs are weird. But I think they're definitely, like... They've like, lost their leader, yeah. Yeah, they've lost their leader. And so there's a, a moment of quiet. You know, so what does everyone do? Well, Bombadiglio doesn't, uh, does not let on that he's 100% drained of magic right now. And he's just like, yeah, that's that's what you get. Um, <laughs> we, did, we don't... We're not. We're not gonna. No taxation without re- representation. Um. Hell yeah. Uh, Hell yeah. V- v- viva revolution. Um. Fuck the king. I guess. Um. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. And I think uh, that with that, the rest of the town gets behind it, and and they yeah, realize, yeah. hey, wait a minute. Yeah, we could do this, and so they're able to <laughs> push out. The rest mm. of the animals, the, the weird-looking pigs, yeah. the bugs. Yeah. So they're like, they're just Hell bugs. Yeah. They're just <laughs> pigs. <laughs> Guys, oh, wait a minute. These are just <laughs> humans. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. We're people in charge. <laughs> we have weapons. Yeah. <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> fuck the king. Don't fuck the king. <laughs> and so they, I guess, push back the animal force. Cool. This is like that scene. It's like that scene in Aladdin where all the guards, like Abu oh, the monkey, has swords. a sword, and they're like, "Oh no, he has a sword!" <laughs> you idiots! We all have swords. <laughs> and so they push back all yeah. the people, but I think uh, Gary, Toe Tap, and Ted, you know, yeah. make sure they stay behind and they to check on to Choosy. Yeah, Choosy. Yeah, yes. we got to make sure she's okay. I think uh, they rush over to her. Yeah, and I, man, what is the magic? What could be done to her? Yeah. Memory stuff. Memory stuff. Oh, no. Maybe she just forgot that, it, like, like all of the recent events regarding Bombadiglio and the Pegan and everything, she doesn't remember any of it. How about this? Oh, it There's a be. moment where they get over to her, and she's, I think she is, like, actually physically hurt. Like, she is actually clearly injured. Yeah, I mean, yeah. She's bleeding a little bit, and they get to her. What do they say? She, she's, she seems to still be breathing. She's like... Ugh. Oh no! Oh, uh, oh, Ryder. Um, do we have? This is a pretty small town. Do we have anyone who someone, a dead someone, in healing get, magic? Go get the healer. We gotta get the healer. If we, yeah. Ted. <laughs> Gary. Yep. Yeah, we're here. Uh, we're here, Chachuzi. I remember the palace. Oh. Oh. It's oh. in a field. It's in a field in the woods. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Um. But don't. Don't go there. Okay. Okay. 
I don't think we can. Let the animals have it. Oh. oh I mean, sure. Right. We we can't really find it anyway. So that's that's sounds, good. Sounds good. That's that was our problem all along. <laughs> was it? I don't. Yes. I don't think I'm following. Bombadiglio. Yeah. You found that field. I did. Probably. That was where all our problems started. Oh yeah, yeah. No, you are correct about that. Yeah. Oh, I see. Can we get her this like some one water of those things. or something? Um, this is one of those. No, sh- let me talk. Okay. I have the sock. <laughs> I have the talkie sock. The talkie socky. There's the sock of the sock of talking, I believe. Yeah, the sock of talking. <laughs> I, I remember that our town was built to study the minefield. But they realized It's true. That the more you studied it, the more problems you had. And it's just one of those things. You just gotta let nature be, you know? And I think if we let them live their life, and we can live our life. That's I will accomplish true peace. I I yeah. feel like I yeah. I'm losing a lot of blood. <laughs> <laughs> we should we should we should get but like medical attention probably. I wasn't expecting this whole this whole on a saga to have like a moral at the end. That really caught me off guard. Yeah, can we do this like after you are seen? Mm. I don't know if I'm going to make it, boys. Oh, wow. Okay, that 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 took a turn. Um, does anyone in this godforsaken town know healing magic? Um, I think she, like, grabs onto Bombadiglo. She's like, just tell me before I go. Oh, my. Oh, no. I gotta know. What is your real name? <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Um. <sighs> God. I want to throw y'all a curveball here, but nobody in this town has any, has a last name, so I can't. Can't really. I mean, the shit family. And also, and also, oh, Bobby family, is like yeah. not from there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he says, "My name, my real name is is Lucas, Lucas Mincer." <gasps> <laughs> That's it. I'm ending my recording. <laughs> That's it. And with that, <laughs> bailiff to choose. He smiles. <laughs> And she passes away. Wow. God damn. Easily the only competent character in this entire arc, and the only female character as well. <laughs> well, no, there was a uh, Tiffany. I mean, not confident. The Lord. Lord Tiffany. I thought the Lord was a guy. Stephanie. Wasn't the whole point that he was a guy whose name was Tiffany? Why does it matter? <laughs> yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Did it have to be a guy? Jesus Christ. Maybe it doesn't matter. And so with <laughs> with is that, that, do we end it there? Is that the ending? <laughs> yep. I don't know. Yep. I'm hitting stop now. Okay. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Tom, Tom, hit stop. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta say goodbye. I don't know. Oh my god, this is weird, man. Anyway, this oh, is what happens today. on this show after we mm. like after you don't hear us anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll just tie it up. She passes away. And um, the the village of Stephanie is eventually able to uh, to return to its its beautiful ways, but of course to its former glory. Yeah, yeah. the Sparkle Forest um, remains. There's a still mystery. legends. There's still legends of the palace found in the Sparkle Forest, inhabited by animals of all shapes and kinds, with weird ducks and pigs and bugs and all kinds of creatures. Yeah. But of course, no one can ever find their way back to the palace once they've found it. And the locals, the locals, they don't talk about the palace in the woods, but they celebrate their star f- jubilee. And they have a, a statue erected in the honor of uh, Bailiff Chichuzi. Hell yeah. And uh, I, I think Lucas. Yeah. He probably leaves. Yeah, he does leave eventually, yeah. And where does he go? He's got to find his own fortune, man. He's he's got to make his own um he's got to make his own story and not keep uh after everything that happened, he needs to he needs to find a new start and an honest start. Yes. And I think he finds himself in uh I'm going to say Hidgety eventually. Okay. Yeah. 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 Next is where Hidgety. I think Dipshit eventually recovers now that he's oh, able to be good. reunited with his shit family. Um, wow. 
And um, Toe Tap and Ted, what's his what's his mm. end credits? He kind of fades into obscurity. Actually, he he wasn't a fan of the the fame that came from defeating the the sure. Pekin. Oh my and goodness. he mm. he like he decides to not leave but kind of live more on the outskirts and and just kind of do sure. his own thing. And yeah. I think I'll say this what what if I may say this the chicken that was the pegan that still talks. Yeah. I think he uh, he goes with toe tap and ted. Probably to his chagrin, yes. Yeah. <laughs> pick, 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 pick. I like I seeds. seeds. Pick. <laughs> and every now and then the chicken has little little glimpses of his of his former glory, but always returns back to being a simple chicken, <laughs> as he was before he met Bamba Diglio. Come, come. Oh my God! And there it is. <laughs> All right, I'm stopping my. Thank you, everyone, for for joining us yeah. on this Patreon episode <laughs> of Bamba so, Diglio Three. So it was definitely the Sparkle Wood, right? The more I hear it, the more I realize Sparkle Forest isn't right. I no. don't think. No, see, so we said Sparkle Woods, and then yeah. we said Sparkle Forest, and then we land on Sparkle Forest. I have literally written oh, in my we notes, did? Sparkle Woods, crossed out, and then Forest. Why did we change it? <laughs> that's stupid. I don't know, man. <laughs> and that's the stupid part? That's yes. the part that's stupid? That's the part that's that going to bug me. that we scooped out a chicken from a pegan? <laughs> Are we you still recording that. this? That was your part. I don't know. My recording's still going. Oh Jake, is yours still going? <laughs> well, patrons, thank you so much for joining us on this epic trilogy. Oh, I'm so and, sorry. Uh, uh, next month will mm. be uh, more nighttime discussions. Hell yeah. So we haven't recorded that at the moment that this is coming out. So if you got more questions, you can squeeze them in, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but that'll come out in February. Okay, any, any parting words, boys? Otherwise, we'll wrap this up. Fennel, <sighs> Albuquerque, and Submarine. Good final words. Yep. But here, here's, here's my final words. When you, when, when you feel like you just can't, when, you, when you're really at the edge of, of thinking that, and we all go through this. We all, we all have times in our lives. <laughs> all right, I we gotta think... go. I gotta feed a baby. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta go. All right. Bye, Jake. Bye. <laughs> See you at my my wedding. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> All right, bye, everyone. Goodbye. Oh, that was good. That was exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs>